Welcome back to another episode of Answers to Your Life Question with myself, Sumba Adiri, and my husband, David Adiri. We're going to continue from our last episode titled, Is the Prodigal Son Qualified for a Comeback? I want to encourage you out there to let you know that the fact that you failed in the past does not qualify you to call yourself a failure. I also want you to know that your past experiences do not define you. Please join us today, even as we go deeper in the topic. Yeah, in our last episode, we are talking about the fact that the prodigal son overcame the fear of what people would say. You know, if he had been thinking about what they were going to say to him for coming back, he's not going to go back. Or the fear of facing the world. There are quite a lot of people committing suicide today because after messing up, it's the fear of facing the world, fear of what people are going to say to them that makes them take their lives. Now, the first suicide story I had as a child happened in my uh, parents' church many, many years ago. There's this man who happened to be very rich in the church. He wasn't the only rich person in the church, but he was extremely very rich. And he was always giving to the church. He was seen as a nice person. Although he wasn't given any position in the church, maybe because of his busy schedule, but he was, was once in a time while in the church and he was always very generous. Now, one day we just woke up on Saturday morning and we all heard that he killed himself. He locked up himself in his room, swallowed all the drugs in the, in the bottle, and they met him on the floor. And uh, the story now was that on Friday, uh, before he left the office, the news that he's been embezzling money came out. And the inspectors were starting the investigation almost immediately. The next week on Monday, he wasn't sure if he was, if he was going to be arrested. So he killed himself before the Monday. Now, what killed this man was the fear of how will I face the world? How will I face those who said I've been who has been who, have, who looks at me like I'm a nice man, I'm a clean man? See, sometimes we need to come to a point in our lives where we know that we are responsible for our lives and we hold nobody any explanation. You see, if you if you don't overcome the fear of what people will say, overcome the fear of how you face the world, you will do nasty things. You will you can shut yourself. In fact, it's not only committing suicide, you can even stay away from the public. You can you can shut your destiny behind the bar so I, I i think that we need to overcome now another thing that the prodigal son had that i would feel is important that we look at is the fact that he has this possibility high possibility instinct the first time he went to his father and said can you give me part of my inheritance he has never seen that happen before he said let me try it it will work he did it and it worked the second time when he after he has wasted his resources he said can i try this again is it possible for my father to receive me he tried it and it worked we need to be to have this possibility instinct we need to be it has to be high that you know that there's always a way no matter what the mistake no matter what the problem there is always a way every problem has a solution there is always a way never feel a sense of hopelessness never feel unworthy just know that with god on your side things are going to be fine that is to tell you out there that you should not be discouraged god almighty sent his only begotten son here to die for you and I and not to condemn you. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining us in this episode of Answers to Your Life Questions.